In today's YouTube video, we are gonna put to the test whether or not max security is the best ability slash X factor in all of Madden 23. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Hey, from the Sand Madden YouTube channel. You may have heard over the last week or two, there are some rumblings about the max security X factor. Not only is this an X factor in Madden 23 that you can put on any receiver in the game for zero AP, this is also an X factor that you guys can equip on the AKA Marquise Hollywood Brown item for zero AP. This is an item that will basically stay on for five plays and then turn off for five plays. So for half the game for zero AP, this X factor is active. And at face value, you read it, and it basically says that it gives you basically guaranteed possession catches. And if that was really just it, you would probably ignore that right away and keep moving on with your life. Although there is an item in the game that is the season four field pass wide receiver Calvin Johnson, which at level 50 is fully powered up, that gets the max security ability as a passive ability, not an X factor that will stay on the entire game. And that will cost you one AP, one AP. Now there is a rumor out there in the community that max security is hands down the best thing that you can use on a wide receiver in Madden simply because max security cannot be pressed, meaning that it basically works like the short out elite and you cannot jam a receiver at all. And a lot of players are saying that it completely turns off all knockout abilities, whether it's a flat zone KO or short route KO underneath, a mid zone KO or a medium route knockout in man coverage in the medium area of the field, or a deep zone knockout or a deep route knockout at the deeper depths of the field. There are also players out there that are saying that this works not only on possession catches, but it also is good on racks and also aggressive catches. So in today's video, I'm gonna set up all these test conditions that are going to break down whether or not this ability does everything that everyone is saying is true. So let's go ahead and take it to the practice field. In our first test here, we're gonna go ahead and utilize max security as a press buster. Let's see if this works against man press animations. So I'm gonna place Hollywood Brown on a streak. This is going up on the outside left here against a press cover one. I'm gonna contain the pass rush for the purpose of this. I just wanna see if this goes ahead and breaks the press animation consistently. And you can very clearly see that it is something that is going to beat press. Let's go ahead and run this a few more times here just to see that this is in fact a consistent animation off the line. We'll go ahead and run another streak here to see if it's the exact same. And you can see that it is a whiff animation, which allows us to throw this up for a rack. Now let's also see if this works on other vertical routes other than streaks, just to be certain. And you can see that it does beat the press animation. However, it doesn't necessarily win to the inside. So just keep this in the back of your mind as you're playing this, that it does appear that there is one type of release animation for this, and it's an instant outside win, and not necessarily the best ability to utilize as a uh you know a post route or something like that you probably would just want to stick to streak routes with this but you can definitely tell that every single time this is going to win and win easily off the line and that the streak is the best way to go about this now let's go ahead and try this out against your knockout meta this is going to be a situation where we want to see if flat zone ko's or short route ko's actually can impact this particular ability and also if it allows us to utilize more than just a possession catch. So in this example here, what I'm gonna attempt to do is to throw the ball out in the flat and see if I'm able to rack this through a flat zone KO. Here on the outside to the left, I do have a knockout ability on my outside corner. So we're gonna see here, I'm just gonna throw this and see how consistently we can go ahead and get these catch animations. So in this situation, I'm just gonna try to throw this ball out straight to the flat to Hollywood and see if I can catch th these in traffic. And you see right there that the flat zone KO lights up. Although that's a falling animation, uh, you're basically looking to see, can he absorb the contact from a flat zone KO? Is this something that I can hold on to? You see right there, it looked like the animation is a little bit crisp, no real contact right there. We'll see if this rings true consistently as we play through this. I'll give a, a few reps here just to be certain, uh, pass leading this almost up into that. You see right there that the flat zone KO definitely broke through, was able to hold on to this against a 
aggressive catch animation. So again, the whole point with this is to try to throw these out in the flat area of the field and see if I can hold on to it. You see right there, the knockout made me drop it while holding the Y button. Uh, however, I do anticipate that I will be able to throw a conservative catch to him. Yeah, and you see that I'm able to fall down in front of him. So as long as you're throwing these underneath routes with the conservative, it does feel like it does allow for you to kind of cheat the coverage just a little bit. I wouldn't get into a really bad habit of just blatantly throwing the ball into the zone, but it does appear like the possession catch does seem to be pretty decent, uh, pretty decent. Uh, here's a Y catch again, and right there is an example where the aggressive catch does get knocked out. So at least in my opinion, I do feel like this is definitely a conservative catch thing. Um, I would not try to get into a habit of throwing Y. You see right there, I held Y, uh, definitely played in his aggressive animation as opposed to a falling animation, and we were unable to hold onto the ball. And I'm gonna bet that when we start to get into the deep out KOs, we're gonna feel the exact same thing here. Before we get into the deep zone knockouts, if you guys could do me a quick favor, make sure you guys hit the like button. Also, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below to let me know what you think about this content. And if you want more, head over to my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg, where you guys can unlock my entire offensive and defensive scheme and all the content that I've done since launch back in August on Madden 23. All right, so now we're gonna be in a test environment against the cover three. I do have a deep out KO. And I'm gonna try to throw these corner routes kind of into him here and see if we can get some animation. So you're gonna see here, that's the Y button, not giving us an opportunity to hold on to this ball in traffic. Uh, if I go ahead and try another Y catch here, we'll see if it if it helps. Uh, you're gonna see here, there's a Y animation. Kind of uh, was able to fall away from him right there. But I am trying to get hit by this ability. I am, you know, obviously I know how to get a corner route open on the short side of the field every time. I'm just trying to see if I can hold on to these balls against knockouts. And you can see right here, here's a conservative catch and I do hold on to the ball. So this is actually gonna be really, really good against man knockouts on toe taps on the sideline, as well as deep out KOs on the sideline. So you see right here, this is a down and outside pass lead and an A catch. And you see, even right there, we actually got knocked out by the deep out KO. So keep that in the back of your mind if you're playing this. Uh, you know, right there, that's the first time I've done a conservative catch and had it KO'd. Uh, you see right there, no knockout on that animation while being hit from behind by a KO ability. So here in this example, I'm gonna try to give myself a little bit more room to throw this against the KO on the sideline. And again, I'm gonna be doing a conservative catch animation. That's just gonna be straight up intercepted. We'll try to get a good rep where I can actually throw this directly into this player here uh, and, and still get hit from behind as we catch the ball. So uh, again here, I'm gonna throw this kind of as a down and outside conservative catch. And you definitely see that he's holding on to it pretty consistently. So I'm going to be honest with you here. As I test through this, I do think that this is a ability that does pretty much what it says. It basically says face value. Hey, this is going to give you a much more likely chance of holding on to the ball when you conservative catch. It's going to give you optimal animations. Although we did see one drop while conservative catching in this against a KO, it was largely in the offense's favor as long as it is a conservative catch. When we were trying the aggressive catch animations, it basically was the exact same knockout rate that we see without the max security. The built-in benefit of max security, though, I will say is that it is a 100% press beater. So, um, you know, if this is something that you guys wanted to run on a wide receiver, I would probably use it on Hollywood Brown for zero. I do think there is some value in doing this with Calvin Johnson for one AP. But again, I just don't think that there's enough scenarios where conservative catching is the way to play. It is a more passive catching animation. Your guy has to pretty much be open anyways to do it because it is such a passive catching animation where if they're falling passively, that makes it so an aggressive corner can break on the throw and get the optimal animation. So you might think that you're preventing uh, drops and preventing knockouts, but you are opening yourself up if you're getting into a bad habit of using the conservative catch all the time, of maybe having balls intercepted where your player had a body positioning advantage that you gave up simply by doing the falling animation, which allows guys to run in front of them. I do think it's gonna be really, really good on the sideline. Would I spend AP on this? Probably not, 
but I do think there is value in it as a passive ability on Hollywood Brown as an X factor for zero. It can only help with beating the press consistently. Um, this is a great way to save AP in the new zero AP structure, although I'm probably not spending one AP on it simply just to beat press and make make those possession conservative style catches. This game is all about clicking on, holding Y, and cutting off passes to stay away from knockouts. I'm not opening myself up to giving up interceptions instead of drops with this particular ability. So do with that information what you will. I hope you guys at least enjoyed today's test environment. If you guys did, make sure you guys give the video a like. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that this is something worth using in Madden 23? We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab in. Good luck.